Hey guys, so yeah, well this seems to be the week of uh, me having falling outs with like old acquaintances and it's like I said before, it's just like I said before, it's like the, the part that's kind of upsetting or even like mildly traumatic for me would be that I get kind of like a sentimental attachment uh, to the acquaintanceship, not even necessarily a strong bond of friendship, but you're just sort of sentimental about knowing the individual. Uh, you know, but as far as like what Kurt goes, I don't really... As far as I'm concerned, that 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 was over. In fact, I don't think it was ever really a true friendship at all, considering how, you know, how 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 how, how mean he was to me. He would obviously get worked up by this idiotic show, which I as I said is already a, a terrible, uh, egregious violation of, of my of my. My, my, my privacy and, and my rights in the first place and him like like using it and getting worked up by it and, and like treating me meanly it's just I just I just don't need that and so I really don't I don't miss him now that, that he's gone and I, I'm doing just fine without his childishness now the thing with Tony though I don't know it's like Tony's another one of those things it's like um uh I don't think I really ever had anything in common with him. And I certainly don't have anything in common with him now. we just known each other for a long time. I won't mention his last name because he's a family man from what I understand. But uh, it's like, I mean, back in high school, you know, he was one of these these kids that like always like smoking dope all the time. And I guess he took other drugs like, like quaaludes and acid and shrooms and stuff too. But he was always smoking dope. And I just like, I just smoked dope like once in a while. I never, dope was... Uh, I never got really into, into marijuana though. It's always been a once in a while thing for me. But he was one of these people like the, the marijuana was his total. It was this defining thing about his existence. Was 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 was. Matter of fact, I heard. I think he went to Walter Reed Junior High School. I went to Sun Valley, but I heard that he got arrested for drugs. I think it was Junior High School. Maybe it was high school. I don't know. But he got arrested for drugs. And while the police were taking him away in handcuffs, he he says to the the gathered crowd of students, "Drugs, people." So I guess he felt he was kind of a Scarlet Pimpernel of of the marijuana subculture or something. I don't know. It's a kind of like a kind of like working hats class stoner hero or something like that. Um, but like actually, what he what he, well, and it's funny though because what he grew up to, he's like he plays like electric guitar in like a Christian rock band, which I think is kind of funny. It's funny how these drug addicts they they they, they when they stop doing drugs, a lot of times they they turn into like religious fanatics uh i never got like really hard into in, in, into like marijuana and stuff i don't know, so i seem to be pretty pretty immune to like a religious fanaticism as well um but it's funny though it's like he he's he, I, he, he on, on his facebook he, he would put stuff up uh, like like directed toward i guess he had daughters there's his daughters that his daughters in my day we had more respect for authority in my day we this and that and that's like no dude in your day you smoked dope all the time and cursed like a sailor i was there you're not fooling anyone you know what i mean but it's just funny this hypocrisy a lot of people uh, get into when they get older. I guess that's one good thing about this idiotic friggin' show I'm subjected to is like I don't even get the opportunity to be hypocritical, you know? I pretty much uh, have like every stupid insignificant mistake I ever made like trailing behind me like uh, like those 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 uh, coffers uh, that, that are attached to, 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 to Dickens' ghosts in the Christmas Carol or something. Um, but yeah, but like you know, I, I mean, I was kind of, kind of upset that this guy he didn't remove me from his friends list. But you know, really, it's like I never had anything in common with him back then. I don't have any, anything in common with him now. Uh, but still, people are funny, you know. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to make a another brief video. I want to do some some major videos, but like I said, I'm gonna be have to down have to take some serious notes because I want to keep. I want to give out all the information and keep everything in context and try to be more sequential with how I, uh, you know, uh, record the information. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next video. Have a good day. Bye.